already on here. Getting some, getting some decent, decent, decent. Always on it. Got him. Oh, oh dang. All right, well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video today. So on the Ginu, as usual, it has been pretty windy for the past couple weeks. There's just something about when the palm trees move a certain way. I just, I love fishing, but there's sometimes I just no interest in, in going fishing. And that was pretty much all last week. Today, a little breezy, not quite windy, but definitely breezy. We're gonna hide from the wind right behind me. I got a bucket full of live shrimp. Um, it's gonna be really simple fishing today. This is fishing anyone can do. Truly, this is very basic fishing, but just gonna work with, uh, I got two rods here rigged with me today, my medium seven footers, Fenwick Elite Inshore with a uh, Penn Slammer 2500. Really simple setup right here. I just got a, this is a 1OJ hook with a, if you guys can see that, it might be out of focus, but little uh, pinch weight on there. We're just gonna take these shrimp, we're gonna drop them around the docks and uh, maybe some mangroves. We're gonna look for sheep's head, uh, black drum, mangrove snapper, redfish. I'm sure we'll find some snook today as well. I got another rod rigged up with a lure on it. And uh, we're just gonna bounce around. We're just gonna fish. We're gonna fish these shrimp, see what we can get. And uh, I got some ice in the cooler back here for uh, if we get some, some maybe some keeper sheep's head. Those are very delicious. We'll throw them in there and I'll probably take them home, clean them up and vacuum seal them. Don't got time to cook them today, but we'll do that. We're just gonna keep it simple today. Fish around the big docks. Um, really expensive houses it's always fun fishing around they always got big fancy docks and fish like big fancy docks so that's what we're doing today just dropping the shrimp around trying to catch a little bit of everything probably so thank you guys for clicking on the video once again let's uh let's get fishing have a good day see what we find all right so i grabbed four dozen shrimp today these guys absolutely love fishing with them uh i got my j hook here really simple the way i hook them sometimes i rig them through the head sometimes i rig them through the tail i think i'll just toss it through the tail for right now i know they swim a little bit differently depending on where you hook them but that'll work right there very simple simple setup makes for great fishing because just about everything like shrimp so let's see here we got some sea walls we got some docks i hope to find some big sheep's head today but uh if not we'll settle for just whatever's willing to bite which could be so many different species I would really like to catch a pompano. That would be really sick, but I got one little pinch weight on. It probably weighs an eighth of an ounce. I might have to add another one later if it seems like it's a little too light, but for right now, it seems, seems good. Oh, something's on it. I think that's just sheep. He's eating it. Got him. Always in some structure. Oh, no, that was not the sheep. That is a little mangrove. There's something down there. I saw that sheep come up on that piling right there, but there's our mangrove. Pretty much what I'll expect to catch the most of today because these guys are just so <laughs> aggressive. I know there's a decent sheep down there, but bait got stolen by this guy. Got stolen. Alright, we'll send him right on back. Plenty of fish under this, like this very first dock. See, yeah, he had me up in something because that's all freight. I need to adjust my leader now. Dang, already back on. All right, we're loaded with mangroves here. I don't think we'll be able to get it past them. Another thing is if I find a dock with a lot of mangroves, like these guy, this guy's a little bit bigger than the last one, but if I find a dock with a lot of mangroves, I'll probably end up just moving on from it because, Whoop. a lot of times with mangroves, I always feel like I catch the biggest ones right off the bat. And uh, if I just sit around hanging in there catching little ones, that's probably all there really is. There it goes. There's something decent. Something decent. Oh my, there it is. There it is. Dude, he picked that up so gently. Decent sheep. No! <laughs> it came off right there. No, that one was it. That was it. I said, let me drop one more shrimp down just in case there's some down there before I move on. And that was like a 15 inch sheep's head right there. Just got me unglued, probably just twisted just the right way, and that hook came undone. Oh, he was heavy too, he was real heavy. I was expecting a jack when I came tight. I was like, oh, this is heavy. Oh, that was it, that was it. That was a really good one. Oh. That bite came on a little bit smaller shrimp. That's maybe why I didn't really feel it. He just swam up and got the whole thing in his mouth. 
That was cool though. I should have had that fish. Oh, already on. There's some, oh, some decent, decent, decent. Oh my gosh, what is this? It feels like a jack, I think. This is a giant sheep. This might be a grouper. He's freaking digging. Oh, dang, decent jack. Had me thinking it might be a grouper. Had me hoping there. Had me hoping it might be something crazy. Dumped it, took off. But then once I felt that kind of that sideways boom, 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 I was like, yeah, that's a jack. There is a dolphin lingering around me as well today, so I might have to move right here because he's 100% going to try to eat this jack when I let him go and probably every, every other fish I catch today. All right, well, Jack will send you on your way. Hopefully he takes off before this dolphin shows up. He's probably under the boat right now. Uh, I don't see him. All right. Keep fishing a little bit more, but if this dolphin is too much of a headache and grabbing my fish, then I'll, I'll go ahead and move because it's not really fair to the fish. Something's nibbling on it. I've got something. Ooh. There we go. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is this a little mutton? I'm pretty positive that's a little mutton right there. I could be wrong though. Correct me in the comments if I'm incorrect pretty sure. I mean, it looks just like a mutton, but I think there's one other species that looks fairly similar to a mutton. I think that one was a mutton. That's pretty cool. I'm going to assume it is a mutton for right now, but hey, he was a pretty nice one. I think I see a snook chasing a big mullet over here. Let me go see if I can get in the action. Got a top water tide on here. It's a big fish, whatever's chasing it. Chasing a decent mullet. Oh, he's on it. Got him. Oh, I think it's a jack. I think it's a jack. That was not the fish that was chasing the mullet, though. The fish that was chasing the mullet along the seawall was way bigger. You could see a wake pushing. Looked like it was probably something about three feet long. I'll take it, though. And some action. That right there is a Berkeley Jaywalker topwater. It might have been a big jack, you know. Let me send a couple more casts here on the seawall. See if I can skip one up under there. Oh, oh dang. Dude, these jacks are nuts. There's another one. Still definitely not that fish that was chasing the mullet down the wall, but... Pretty cool to get some topwater action. All right, there goes another one. Oh, got something. Got something. Oh, this is a decent fish. All right, so this is a different snapper here. I believe this is a schoolmaster, I believe is the term on it. It's close to keeper. I think he's just a little bit short just a little bit too small to keep another really cool snapper i believe the term is schoolmaster correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but pretty neat little fish here look very similar to mangroves but they have this like bright orange and red fins check him out pretty cool pretty pretty cool let me just measure him just to see let's put him right here is about 10 inches. I gotta double check. I believe everything has to be nine inches to keep, but we'll put him right on back in the water. It's like so interesting how even just any little dot could just have so many different species. 
and they're eating pretty good today. We're catching them, even though the water's a little colder as well. we'll put on another shrimp, keep fishing. Oh, I'm on something. There we go. Another one, there's structure down there. This is a mangrove, regular mangrove snapper, or gray snapper. There's definitely structure down there because I'm bumping it, but we have yet to find the big ones. I know the bigger ones usually kind of hang around in the summer times, but. Somehow got him right there in the nostril. Another like, probably a nine incher. Toss him back. I think we'll move on to the next dock here. It doesn't seem like there's anything decent on that one. I got something. I got something eating me. Got him. There we go. There's a completely different species. I'm sure you guys have never seen this guy on the channel. It's a little puffer fish. <sighs> That's how it's going right, right now. Nothing decent yet. I might move here to some deeper docks. Just doesn't seem like the ones I'm fishing are holding anything too serious. Just like little mangroves. I haven't really even gotten any shots at Sheep's Head besides the one I hooked this morning. But that's okay. We'll move on. We'll move on here. I'll fish these a little bit longer, and then if I don't, if I'm not successful with anything decent, we'll move. There we go. Decent snook just came out of there. There we go. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's see if I can keep them on. A bunch of mangroves came out of there too with the snook. Came ahead, victorious. Keep the drag really light here because I'm using a J-hook and the chances of this guy being hooked perfectly is pretty slim. Come on, come on. So likely he's fraying me right now, that's why. No, it looks like we hooked him good. I think it helped that I watched him just come up and slam it. <laughs> Current's moving pretty good where I'm fishing right now. I wouldn't be surprised if we get some more snook. Seems like a very good spot for them to be sitting on these docks. There we go. Little guy on the light tackle. Still pretty fun. Looks like he's about, I don't know, 20 inches. It's not huge, but decent fat little one there. Go ahead and just send him right on back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, you should be good, bud. There he goes. All right, snook down, snook down. Still nothing to keep. Kind of funny. I mean, I always feel like when you bring your ice, you're ready to catch something to bring home to keep. It's harder to <laughs> harder to do that than when you're just out fishing for fun. Seems like you catch everything that you could keep. But yeah, it looks like I got to retie a little bit there. It's a little frayed. Cut right there. Retie. Get back to fishing. Oh, I'm on. There's some decent, that feels like a decent sheet. What is this? Another schoolmaster. Check him out. Dumped it. Still not big enough. Cool fish though. Really cool fish. Dumped it. I thought I was going to have a decent sheep right there. So colorful, really cool fish. Probably the most colorful fish you might find out here besides maybe a redfish. All right, let me grab another shrimp. Just working them, working them today. Nothing, nothing big so far, unfortunately, but whoa, do like catching them. Honestly, doesn't matter the size, just hoping for that decent one. Go back over there. Drop it right back where I got that bite. I okay, instantly found something else. Yep. Oh, there we go. Nice sheet, nice sheet, nice sheet. Dang. There it is. Really nice one, really nice one. Just stick with me. Let me swing in here. Let me swing in. No, 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 no. Get out of there. Get out of there. Come on, let's get you in. Oh, hanging on by a thread. 
<laughs> hanging on by a thread. That hook is just barely in the lip there. Nice one. Nice one. Alrighty, beautiful sheep's head there. This is the uh, first of the day and it is a big one. He's probably 16 inches. Definitely over the keeper size. But what a fight. Had some strength to him. Really pulled the drag pretty good there. Um, fishing light leader, light drag, but I mean, really took me for a ride there. And that was the exact same spot I pulled that schoolmaster out of. Good fish, good fish. We'll go ahead and get this guy on ice. We'll take him, we'll take him. Beautiful sheep's head. All right, so we just got that guy um, in the cooler on ice. Uh, I put him on the ruler, he's about 16 inches like I thought, uh, right in that, right, like 16, 16 and a half. Great fish. Uh, like I said earlier, I'm just gonna take him home clean them and uh, vacuum seal them and save them for another day. I'm actually going on a trip this week, so be ready for uh, that video uh, from the trip coming, well, after this video. But I wanted to mention real quick before we get back to fishing today, I dropped some new hats here. These, uh, these hats are on JM Fish Co. Check them out. New snook hats, like an orange camo. They are really sweet. The, uh, they're on my website, jamfishco.com. I've seen a handful of people ask about where I get this hat, and then there's also a brown camo one um, online as well, even a white one. Uh, you can find them there. That is my website where you can find my merch. There's also stickers and stuff like that. So yeah, that's that. Uh, we finally got a good fish now. It's almost one o'clock. I haven't been, I've been fishing since about 9.30, so I haven't been fishing too long, but we finally got one. So maybe we're moving into them. We'll move back into that dock where I got that one. There could very likely be more up under there. And uh, we'll see if maybe we can get one more keeper and then keep fishing, having a good rest of our day. I'll tell you guys one good tip here too before I get back to fishing. See these shrimp right here? These guys are probably two inches long. These are my favorite for sheep's head. I'll put them on first almost every single time and go through all the little guys before I get to the big ones. Because sheep's head can really just eat this whole thing in just one chomp. That makes it much easier to catch them because they're a fish that doesn't they don't inhale anything they nibble 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 so a smaller bait usually works a little bit better because they get the hook a little bit you know easier so that's that that's that rig again that i got the last sheep set on i honestly have 10 inches of leader here which worked still um, i need to switch it out probably after the next fish or so if it gets a little worn out to a little bit longer leader should help me but i did get that big sheep on it so we'll keep fishing it and uh this dock right here is where i got them also got that schoolmaster so we'll slide back in there Put the cast in, maybe we'll find another one. If not, we'll move on. There's a nice snook. <laughs> How about that? Oh wait, is this a snook or a barracuda? Oh, it's a barracuda. Came unglued for that. Catching just about everything today. I honestly don't know if I've ever caught a barracuda on my Ginu before. That would be a first. Let me just go ahead and pop him off. Oh my gosh, he cut the LBN and entirely in half. I thought that was a snook. That'll work. See you later. See you later. Just came up and blasted that. Check that out. <laughs> Probably almost can still use it, honestly. Almost. Let's see. Oh, something decent. Something decent. Oh, that might be it. Oh. Super fat mangrove there, super fat. This one only eat a tail. Super fat, just like, I need the length, I need the length. I need these guys to be like 11, 12 inches. That's typically where I'll keep, keep them. This guy is so close. I mean, let me throw him on the ruler here. Oh. Ooh. He's like 11. Uh. I'm tempted to keep, but I'll put him back since I have a good sheep's head in there. I'll let that one go. There we go, there's something. Oh, my big ladyfish, dude. I don't know what species this is today, but this is like the, gotta be close to the 10. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a monster. <laughs> oh no, he swam into the trolling motor. Dang. <laughs> All that for him to come off. 
Man. <laughs> How ridiculous today's been. Just every species. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Getting eaten. I'm... So decent. That's got to be a shoot. It's got me on the piling. It's got me on the piling. It's got me on something. Shoot. Oh, he's out. He's out. He's out. Dang, that thing fought so hard. It's a mutton. Bigger mutton. Bigger mutton. Sick. All right, check that out. Strongest fighting fish of the day. I'm pretty sure, once again, this is a mutton. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, but really strong fish. He had me up in some type of structure there. Pop that hook out. He had me up in some type of structure there. Oh, that'll be him gone. Um, some down there. He was strong. He was real strong. But, uh... I'll take it. I'll take it. Like I said, pretty sure that's a mutton. There we go, there we go. Decent snook. There were some bigger ones up under that dock there. Throwing that uh, entirely beat up mini mullet I had from earlier. Good one. I think he's probably 27, 28 maybe. I don't know. I'll put him on the ruler right here right now. All right. Turns out it's actually 26. So yeah, that's a good one. I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the water. Alrighty. Oh, all right. Well, um, this is what I caught him on right here. Mini mullet, murder mullet. Hopefully you guys were able to get your hands on some of these guys. This thing is pretty much destroyed. I'm going to throw around for five more minutes. If not, that's probably going to be the, or if I don't get anything, that's probably going to be the last fish of the day. But I took my chest camera off and everything. Cause I was like, oh, I'll make a few more casts and then we'll wrap it up and go home and ended up finding the nicest fish of the day there <laughs> at the end when I'm just messing around, of course. But uh, I'll give it five more minutes. Alrighty, well, here is the deal. That is gonna end today's video. Uh, I gave it a couple more minutes, didn't didn't really make anything of it. Um, that's that, it was a grind today. We fished hard, we fished hard for sure. And uh, we, we got a little bit of everything. We got like snook, mangroves, we got like a schoolmaster uh, snapper, I believe mutton snapper. I'm gonna call it a mutton snapper until I'm corrected. Uh, two of those, we got a ladyfish, we caught sheep's head, we caught um, snook, did I say snook? Jacks, we caught jacks. Just a little bit of everything. It's kind of what I signed up for when I fished live uh, shrimp. You can catch pretty much everything, honestly, everything. I even caught catfish and puffer fish too. Um, throw those ones in there as well, but awesome day. If you guys are kind enough, check out the hats on my website. Be greatly appreciated if you picked one up. And I think that is it. That is it for today. I appreciate everyone who clicked on this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please hit the subscribe button if you have not done so already. The majority of you who are watching this video right now are actually not subscribed to the channel. It's totally free to do that. So go ahead and do that. And uh, that's it. That's it for me. I'm gonna go home, fillet the sheep's head. Uh, once again, I'm gonna vacuum seal them, put them in the freezer, save them for another day when I can, when I can make them. But I know Maggie's already got dinner ready today. So, <laughs> all right, that's that. I'll see you guys in that next video. See you guys.